Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the evening is still dry and quiet. We do expect some light mixed precipitation uh, later on sometime after 9 or 10 o'clock this evening and lasting through the overnight. It's a little bit of snow and some rain, so there's really not enough to shovel and plow. We're thinking just uh, slushy coatings during the uh, overnight hours, but that's all it takes to make some roads slippery later on. In downtown Providence, boy, that is a beautiful picture. Cloudy, cool and dry temps that are in the, the mid-30s right now. North Kingstown coming in at uh, 36 degrees, so cool but not real cold. And that mixture arriving later on this evening and during the overnight, it's light snow to rain and then ending is light snow uh, during the pre-dawn hours. And we're thinking essentially away from the coastline and northern suburbs, just some kind of thin uh, slushy coatings. But again, that would make roads, at least the untreated ones, uh, slippery. Now, I'm actually more concerned around this time tomorrow uh, for some brief heavy snow squalls between roughly 4 and 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. This is almost like the, the wintertime version of, you know, when you get a passing shower or a thunderstorm in the summer. It comes real quick. It's real heavy. doesn't last long, but it is high impact. Same situation here, only the wintertime version. Brief heavy snow, gusty wind, uh, reduced visibility, and they really don't last very long. They're all of, say, 15, 20 minutes, and then they're gone. But this could be pretty high impact, again, for the evening commute this time tomorrow, and that much advertised deep freeze on the way tomorrow night through Friday morning. You see that precipitation lined up along the uh, Hudson Valley, tracking two cold fronts. The first front coming through this evening and overnight will bring some of this mixed precipitation. And then the second one, this is the one that really means business. It arrives this time tomorrow evening. And this is really the leading edge of the Arctic air and that big outbreak of colder weather that's on the way. And it's this front will, that will create some of those snow squalls by this time tomorrow evening. Note the temperatures behind the front in Duluth, 19 below. But that's warm compared to what's over the border in Canada. This is where the core of the real frigid air is located. And this will be coming down across uh, the northeastern United States, the eastern half of the country, but especially the northeast. East, the Midwest and the Great Lakes and into New England with a significant drop in temperatures starting tomorrow night. Let's get in real close and walk you through it hour by hour on the forecast. Uh, this is 7 o'clock in the evening. You start to see the precipitation moving in. This is 11 o'clock. The blue is snow. The green is rain. So snow eventually mixing with and changing to rain during the overnight. And then late at night towards daybreak, uh, ending is a brief period of snow. In fact, by 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, the precipitation uh, is actually gone. We'll see some developing sunshine tomorrow morning, but roads, untreated ones, uh, may be slippery, so be mindful of that. Now watch what happens. This is 5 o'clock in the evening. Look at these squalls coming through between roughly 5 and 7 o'clock in the evening. I mean, this is real heavy snow coinciding with the evening commute, so pretty concerned about this as far as reduced visibility, quick coatings on the road, some slippery travel, and look, look how fast it moves away by... 8, 9 o'clock in the evening, uh, it is gone. Skies are clearing. The temperatures dropping off rapidly. Roads become icy. So two chances for accumulating snow. The first is just a coating right up in here uh, during the overnight hours. And, you know, slushy coating, especially north and west of Providence. The second chance for a coating of snow would be when those snow squalls come through by late afternoon and early evening. So two chances for some of this precipitation. But for tomorrow, 35 degrees, but dropping rapidly by evening. This sets the stage for the Arctic blast of cold air Thursday into Friday morning. It is short-lived. By the weekend, the temperatures start to moderate up to 42 by Sunday. So, yes, some slipperiness overnight tonight, tomorrow morning. But, again, I'm more concerned about the squall potential this time tomorrow evening. All right, Tony, thanks. We